Hi, this is uh, Saint.V8 from Landy Zone, um, Ant as, as some people know me by. Um, as promised, I said I'd do a video of uh, connecting my Rough Around the Edges P38 um, to the uh, legend that is Story Wilson's EAS Unlock software using Datatex lead and a USB to serial uh, converter. Um, I run an old Dell Inspirian laptop. You'll have to excuse me, this camera doesn't autofocus, it's getting quite old. But this uh, Dell Inspirian laptop running Windows 7. Uh, I'll try not to get too close because it, it goes a bit blurry. But yeah, we're running, running Windows 7 here. Uh, just to prove you that it does work on Windows 7. Um, so, without further ado, let's, uh, let's crack on. Obviously, first things first. Get your USB lead, take the protective cover off. I have to excuse the state of my hands, I do work in a, in a workshop. Right, find around the back, find a suitable USB port that's free. Plug it in. You get the beeps from the computer letting you know that it's in. Obviously download the drivers onto the computer before you uh, plug it in. Make sure you get the drivers. Right, what I like to do is go over, right click, go down to device manager. And what we can do here is pick up the ports there we go, COM4. So we know that that's actually, you probably can't read that, this camera's old. COM4, so we know we're on that port. What we do now, is we've got that running. So we take our key, stick it in the hole, turn it on, lots of beeps. Then go around the other side of the car. Range Rover, there we go. Over the passenger side. What we've got here is obviously Datatex lead plugged into the end of the serial connector. So we take our USB lead. Oh, not as flexible as they used to be in my youth. Oh, sorry if it's blurry. There we go. We get beeps that it's plugged in. There we go. That's plugged in there. That's in the back of the computer. Right, it's rock and roll. Right around the front of the car. Here we are. Okay, we've got the slow 35 mile an hour message on the dash. So what we do, we've got a folder set up that says Range Rover Tools. Try not to get too close to the computer, it goes blurry. Unlock Suite, this is Stories program. I think that's where it's large. Agree the uh, disclaimer. It'll moan at you that you've got the wrong COM port. So just click OK. Go to the EAS setup menu, COM, pick up COM4, and there we go. Click initialize. We get lots of zeros, we get beeps, there we go, that's the beeps, and we get lots of FFs in the buffer. We are now connected. We have the green good idle, and we're ready to go. Now, fingers crossed, I know my EAS system hasn't got any faults, but you will get the vehicle moved fault on every occasion. So there we go. Just to prove that we are actually talking to the vehicle, what we can do is we can go to heights and we can ask the computer, uh, what is my vehicle currently sitting at? Click get heights. It's asking, got lots of stuff going on, some beeps, some information has been received. Now these heights are representative. Every car sits at a different set of heights. Mine just happens to sit at those. What we can do now is actually, if we close the door, I've got the window open, never close the door on a P38 without a window open if your keys are inside it. It does have a hair tendency to lock itself. Right, so, turn her on, rocking and rolling. Now, computer's still connected. What we can do is we can go to the calibrate function and just to prove that we're all we're still communicating, we get a read all, we get lots of activity going on in the in the buffer, it's asking for information, it's receiving a lot of information. Again, I don't know how well you can see this. But we've now got what the EAS expects to read at the different heights. Now mine's currently sitting at a standard ride height. There we go, she's sitting at a, at a standard ride height. And what we can do, just again to prove that she's talking to the car, 
is we can click this and it will send the car to access ride height. So what we can do, click that, the vehicle will now sit down at access. And there we go, that proves that we've still got communication through the PC to the vehicle. So now she's sat there, what we can do is get the old lady to sit back up again. So we'll go to standard, click standard. And then backs up. The front slowly rising. There she goes. Tired old lady this one. There we go. So there we go, that proves that we're now talking to the vehicle. We've still got FF going on here, we've still got our good idle. Remember this is Windows 7. I'll put some details down of the, the serial lead that I use. So there we go. And to disconnect, obviously all you do, it's dead simple. Obviously if you had faults here, you'd click the unlock EAS, that clears all the faults. But obviously, find out why there's a fault there in the first place. That, that goes without saying. So what we can do is we can click the stop. Dead simple to do uninitialize. We've still got the engine running, ignition's still on. Click stop. No idle. We get beeps from the computer to let us know that something's happened. Engine's still running. We walk around. Your American impression. Range Rover. Go around. Open up the front door. Oh, back underneath. Take that out. So it's now disconnected. Turn the ignition off, take it out, no fault showing, we'll do, key back in, just to prove that there's no, no untoward issues, we've disconnected it properly, start the car, all warnings gone, still at standard ride height, the computer's disconnected, there we go, it is that simple, next option obviously, take the key out, Put it in your pocket. Grab yourself a coffee. There we go. Windows 7, USB serial lead, data text lead, the legend that is Story Wilson's unlock software. Connected, talking to the vehicle, the vehicle's responding, disconnected, no warnings on the dashboard. It's that simple, chaps. Best luck. Obviously, any questions, bung them on the forum and we will dutifully take the piss out of you and then give you advice. All the best, chaps.